Hello everybody. Greetings from IIT Bombay. I am Deepak Fatak, a teacher at this institute. And I am also chairman of the board of governors of your alma mater, NIT Agartala. I am very happy to greet you on this important occasion of your coming together for the global alumni meet in Agartala. I apologize for not being able to be present personally with all of you. However, the technology permits me to address you through this medium. Today, I wish to start by relating a few anecdotes about how the alumni of our great institute have been contributing to the well-being of people in the country. The first instance that comes to my mind is depicted in this small diagram. You will notice it says Ripura in 2014, the only powerful state of Northeast. Well, that was the year when we made the state not only power surplus, but we actually started giving power out, selling it to Bangladesh as our neighbor. This feat was achieved by a remarkable creation of large power plants. At one time, it was considered impossible to build such large power plants. But these were built mainly by people from our institute. I came to know about it last year when I was visiting Agartala during the convocation address. There was a small alumni gathering and I was told how our alumni as engineers on the project have contributed to design, development and implementation. It was a moment of great pride to me that our alumni have made such fantastic feats achieved. The second anecdote I have is my own personal experience. You will see this building in the picture. It's the Computer Science and Engineering Department building called Kanwal Rikhi Building. This was constructed uh, during the years 1998 to 2000. This was constructed by a company called Larson & Tubro, which all of you might have heard of. So what is important from our point of view today is that the engineer in charge of that entire project was none other than an alumnus of our institute, NIT Agartala. He was so proud of the work that he had done that towards the end, you see a large pillar uh, in the photograph, he took me to that pillar and banged his fist against that pillar and said, Professor Fatak, this is LNT construction. We have given a guarantee for 50 years for its longevity. However, I am telling you, because I have personally supervised it, this structure will last for 70 years. I was amused and I said, well, after 70 years, neither you nor I shall be there. I thought he will take it as a joke, but he did not. He took it seriously. He said, no, sir, my grandchildren and your grandchildren will be there. Please ask your grandchildren to ask my grandchildren to confirm that the structure still stands. I was very touched by his confidence in his own work, his own capabilities, and in the work of the company that he served well, Larson and Tubro. My dear friends, he is none other than Suman Chanda, whom you see in this next photograph. I accidentally met him. I happened to meet him in the recent alumni get together, which was held in Mumbai. And I was very pleasantly surprised to see him. And I said, what are you doing here? And he said, sir, I'm an alumnus of this institute. So you see an alumnus of NIT Agartala helped an alumnus of IIT Bombay to construct a memorable building which still stands very proudly as one of the best buildings on the campus. I am sure there are umpteen other instances where our alumni have contributed in various domains for the benefit of people. That, my dear friends, is a matter of pride for all of us. It is this pride which tells me that our alumni are comparable to best in the world. On this day, when I greet you, these memories fill my vision 
and I feel confident that going ahead, the alumni will continue to contribute with all their might to the benefit of the country. So I am proud of you all for whatever you have done and whatever you are doing. However, I would like to add a few more things as not exactly as a sermon but as suggestions. Number one, please keep your alma mater in your thoughts and actions as you move forward in your own lives. I am sure as you move in your own lives to create a great professional career for yourselves, your life will become very beautiful. You see this picture? This was sent to me by a friend of mine, Professor Vag from Delhi, showing dew drops. You will all agree that dew drops look beautiful in the early mornings on winters. Well, if our life has to be as beautiful as dew drops, then I have an interpretation for the word dew. So, when I wish you the best for a continued beautiful life like dew drops, I would like to remind you that the word dew can also be interpreted to stand for dreaming big, enjoying life and working hard. Well, my dear friends, all of you would be doing that because only when you dream big, you can achieve bigger things. Only when you enjoy life, every moment becomes very pleasant, however hard as your professional life be. And only when you work hard, you can create history. I am sure all of you are doing it. My only request is, when you do that, please also help your institute to do so. Keep yourselves engaged with the institute in as many different ways as possible and help us to achieve the tag of one of the best institutions in the country and in the world. Thank you very much. I am delighted that you are all meeting there. Someday, I would like to come and meet all of you in person whenever there is a next global meet, perhaps next year. Till then, goodbye and greetings once again. Thank you.